Hi there. In this demonstration, we're going to see how to create a histogram from a frequency table or a frequency distribution. All right, and the first thing we're going to do is just turn this frequency table into a bar graph and then convert that into a histogram. It's really easy to do. Um, in the first column, you want to input um, the classes. And this is actually um, qualitative data in the sense that those are not really numbers, they're just names of classes. And you have to make sure that Excel knows that, that you know, that isn't 30 minus 39 or numbers. And you do that just by highlighting and then checking to make sure if you go to Format Cells, it should come up as either General or Text. And you can change it to Text if you want, but General actually works fine. All right, so either one of those works. So we're good to go. And then these, once you enter numbers, it will assume those are quantitative variables. So we're good to go. So look, making a um, histogram is really easy. We just highlight the whole table. We go to Insert. We're basically going to make a bar graph where um, the bars are columns. And um, click that. I'll do the top left, first one. And bang, it's almost done. Right? That's a great job. So. I'm going to do some things to make this look more like a, an official histogram. Um, and to do that, I'm going to play around with the chart. So I want these chart tools. You see that's up in green. Now, if you're not seeing that, that's because your cursor might be outside of the chart. When your cursor is outside of the chart or the graph, uh, you don't see that. But once you click on the graph, the chart tools are there. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to a layout. I like the one. And you can play around with all of these things. Look, that's almost there. That's almost a histogram right there. Um, I'm going to start off with this one because it has an x-axis title, a y-axis title, a chart title. Um, and the first thing, since this isn't a clustered um, bar graph, there's only one variable, those are the scores, um, I'm going to get rid of this frequency over here. So that's gone. And my axis title, those are the test scores. So all I do is left click on there and then I start typing test scores. Hit enter, and that becomes my axis label. Over here will be frequency on the y-axis. And let's see, this is currently it's still a bar graph. Bar graph of test scores. So I'm just putting my cursor where the box is, where the text box is for this title, and typing. And when you hit enter, um, it replaces that um, default title. Okay, great. So what we have here is a um, bar graph, which is just like a histogram. We just need to make those bars touch each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on one of these bars, any one. I'm going to do Format Data Series. And the first thing that pops up is Series Overlap. Don't worry about that. Gap Width. I want no gap. All right, and you can sort of see as you go along what that's doing. So that's great. Now my bars are very wide and there's no gap, but you can't really tell you know, the, the different bars are hard to distinguish from each other, right? So I'm going to go to border color, and I'm going to make sure that there is a solid line, and I'll choose it to be black, which is the default anyway. And then border styles, I want it to be kind of thick so that I can see the different bars. So once I get up to around two, I can really see those um, different bars. And so that's good enough for me. Click OK. And there we go. Now that bar graph is officially a histogram. So I'll change that in the title, histogram. And the great thing about these graphs in Excel is that they're interactive with the table that was used to generate them. So if all of a sudden, instead of three scores in the 49, 40 to 49 category, I had six, I would enter six in the table, and that changes the height of that graph. All right, of the bar in the graph. Goes back to 3. I guess it'll be more clear. Suppose I make this 12 a uh, 14. Notice it's a lot higher. It has to rescale the axes. Um, it does a really great job. And it does it interactively and quickly. So there we have a histogram. Now technically in a histogram, instead of having a, a label for each bar, it, it, it often has the cutoff that separates the two bars. Uh, that's hard to do in Excel. You you got to put an insert a uh, text box, format it just right. I don't. It's not worth the work. I mean, here we get an idea: 30 to 39, 40 to 49. That's pretty clear what bar, what class is represented by each bar, and what scores fall into each class. 
Um, okay, so there you go. Histogram with Excel. It's very easy once you get the um, frequency table. To do it just from raw data is a little trickier. It requires the analysis tool pack. But once you get the frequency table, or any table in general, it's easy to make graphs, bar graphs in Excel. And we're done. Thanks. Bye.